Hey everyone, Bart Matson here with Motorcycle USA and we're in San Diego, California for the press launch of Kawasaki's top selling street bike and it's not the ZX14 or the ZX10 or the ZX6 it's the new Ninja 250R Kawasaki has been selling these bikes in double digit growth for the last decade and after 20 years of not changing a thing they've totally redesigned it for 2008. To make it look more like their other ninjas they've got all new bodywork. Kawasaki reps told us that there is no piece of bodywork on this bike that was on the last bike. To go with the all new bodywork they've also changed the engine. Uh, it's got new valves, new camshafts, a new transmission, a new two into one exhaust. I don't think I've ever ridden a bike where I've kept it up so high in the rev range. And you're always got the throttle wide open. But this thing still zips around. It's a lot of fun to ride. Uh, to go with the redesigned motor, Kawasaki has also got a redesigned chassis for this bike. Uh, up front, we got a new Showa fork, which replaces an old Kaiaba model. And out back we got a Kayaba shock, which is now pre adjustable for preload. Kawasaki has also got new brakes on the Ninja. Uh, they've got the pedal style up front, which you can see kind of gives it the look of its uh, bigger siblings. Uh, two piston caliper up front, as well as two piston caliper out back. The riding position is pretty standard. You know, it's a little sportier than the last one, as I recall. Uh, the seat kind of slopes forward just a little bit. Uh, the seat's pretty comfortable though. Um, the handlebars have been raised, uh, and the rake has actually been uh, uh, swept in by one degree. So this bike's a really, actually, a really nimble, quick turning bike. And I mean, it's so light that you know, especially for beginners, you're in a parking lot, all those low speed maneuvers that really get you, especially when you're starting out. Uh, this bike's very well suited to a beginner rider. the dashboard the old ninja used to have a, a temperature gauge but they've switched that out with a fuel gauge which is way more practical and useful basically it's an all-new bike <laughs> <laughs> 